I never thought I would journal. Like, honestly, I don't have the time for it. I really don't want to be sitting down and like writing a diary because that's genuinely what kind of I imagine the whole thing thing to be and I don't really want to talk about my negative feelings for the day because I just feel like if I put it on paper I feel like well am I just kind of like making that or like validating them or like you know like I don't want to read back negative stuff you know like if I was upset during the day do I really want to write that down no I, I just want to kind of forget about it I don't really want to you know I don't want to talk about it so I felt like I don't want to do that kind of stuff so it really wasn't me and I, this whole journal hype that was going on I was kind of like really no, it's just not me. Anyway, now I journal and it is nothing like I thought it was going to be. It's so far from what I had in my head, this idea of journaling. So let me tell you how you can make it work for you. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm on loads of different platforms. I'm on Substack, which is my online publication called The Beauty Breakfast Club. You guys are going to love it. So head on over there and it's great if you like reading. And we kind of like connect a lot more on there. Then I have Instagram, which obviously is Instagram. And then I have TikTok, which obviously is TikTok. And then I also have another YouTube channel, which is Educational Beauty. So if you like makeup, head on over. Super educational, you're gonna love it. Now, there are a few different things that made journaling kind of work for me. And the first thing was that I went out and bought the Intelligent Change 5 Minute a day journal I can't remember what it's called but that's the journal that I bought because I was kind of like seeing it everywhere and then I saw that two of my sisters were actually doing it like whenever they came over to visit it's like every night I'd see that journal out and I'm like whoa you are that is dedication and I was like they're like me though so like I don't get like okay why they're doing it but anyway then I did ask them and I was like you know, is it worth it? And they were like, it's a, it's brilliant. And one of my sisters is on her 14th book already, her 14th journal. So I'm like, okay, there's got to be something to it. But then I didn't want that whole kind of, you know, like, oh, having to sit down and like write a whole load on there. And I thought five minutes a day, that can't be that bad. So when I actually bought this journal, I genuinely thought I would either end up returning it or I would just end up using it as a coffee table book because it looks so good. So it's like this really nice linen kind of like cover to it. And I was like, this is a really cool, this is kind of like book you want on your coffee table, right? And I thought, okay, I'm probably just going to keep it on the coffee table or like under some candles, you know? I didn't expect to actually enjoy it and love it as much as I do. And now I've been been doing it every day it's been over 30 days every morning and evening I journal I mean who am I <laughs> I didn't think that I'd be doing that there are a few pages that you need to read at the beginning of it like I'll be honest I kind of like when I got it when I received it which was at the end of December and I kind of flicked through it and I was like whoa there's like a whole load at the beginning like there's actually quite a lot to read before you get into it is it really going to be that complicated and initially that's what I thought I was like this is too much I love reading by the way so don't get me wrong I love reading I read books I love it to be like I thought those were kind of like instructions and I was like this is way too much that I would need to learn just to write in a journal so initially that put me off a little bit and I hadn't even read it yet I was just honestly judging it like you should never judge a book by its cover it sounds so weird but yes that's what I did I kept kind of like pushing it aside because realistically I wanted to start first of Jan right and I wanted to make sure that I read that bit before first of Jan so I kept pushing it aside and I was like oh my god that's just like too much like seriously like how am I even going to remember all that but anyway I did I read the beginning section and it was once I started reading it I couldn't put it down and it was only it's only like what well, I don't know maybe six seven pages or so it's not a lot to be honest and I read it and I was like okay this is just trying to explain to me why this is set out in this way and why it works so much and help you to kind of understand that it doesn't have to be like a diary there may be a few bits in there that you don't feel like apply to you which is fine but honestly I would suggest really like reading this because it really does help you to understand why they've laid it out in the way they've laid it out and exactly how it can help you because of the fact that this journal is just on Honestly, so basic and so simple to kind of write in it's kept me committed it's not asking for too much from me you know and I already have such little time to dedicate to something like this like any spare time that I have I love throwing into my work because I just have so much to do this doesn't make me feel like I'm wasting time if anything I feel like it helps my kind of like just my mental health and clarity and it really does kind of like almost actually helps me to stay productive through the day too because it kind of gives me intention for the day. I would say it isn't just about those few minutes you spend in the morning and the few minutes you spend in the evening. I mean those few minutes that you spend writing in this journal do genuinely help. It really does help you to reflect but it really does kind of help you in the middle too because you've already started the day with your journal you know reflecting and thinking about how you want your day to be so you kind of like 
have that at the back of your mind and you're approaching your day that way. And you're appreciating the little things. Like you really do learn to appreciate things like the people in your life or little things that they may have done or things that you have learned through the day. And another thing that I love, there is not anywhere in this journal that requires you to write anything negative down. So anything that you feel that has happened which is bad or that has caused you to have a bad day or to make you feel kind of like negative in any way. It doesn't ask anything like that. And I absolutely love that. Like every question in here is about kind of fostering positivity and kind of making you look at the better side of things as opposed to the bad side of things. Everyone has bad days, right? Everyone has that day where maybe they're just not feeling it. Maybe nothing serious has happened, but you just feel like you're not in the mood. You're not really in the greatest mood. So you've just felt a bit crap, you know? And when you write in the journal, it's not asking you about that. So you know what's great about that? It's it's just, it's kind of like stopping, it forces you to look at the good things that happen throughout the day. Even though during the day, maybe you didn't feel that, at the end of the day, it makes you remember the good things. Sometimes if I've been having that kind of mood and at the end of the day, I'm like about to open my journal, I'm like, what could I possibly write that was good about today? And it makes you think, I sit there and I'm like, okay, well, yeah, this happened and that happened. So it makes you remember the good things from the day and it really does help you going forward. So it's not just that evening that you're thinking about good things that may have happened. It's like through, like every Every day that you write in this journal, it it kind of like is almost teaching your mind to accept the good things and hold on to those good things and live in the moment, you know, and, and if little things like when someone does something nice for you, it helps you to like think about it a bit more than usual. So it's difficult to explain, but honestly, it is something that I think is going to really, really help you. And what I love is at the beginning of each page, there is a quote for the day. And it, it's weird because sometimes I read these quotes and it's like, I feel that it's kind of almost like you've almost manifested things to happen through the day, which really kind of make you re like remember the quote that you read in the morning. And by the end of the day, you're like that quote, that that just is all about today. Like that is my day. It's so bizarre. But anyway, I think we should get started with the journal so you can see what it's all about. So this is the five minute journal. As you can see, it's like a linen kind of cover. This is exactly why I was saying it's probably like a really good coffee table book. But honestly, thank God I actually love it. So it has a whole load of stuff at the beginning, some really nice kind of like quotes in here and everything. It really does make you think, I really like it. Then you've got the content. So you can see how it has quite a bit in here. So it gives you an idea of like why you're actually gonna love this. As you can see, like there's like different reasons why you're gonna love it, how it works and also things like quotes from people, like quote from Benjamin Franklin, like why should you write as soon as you wake up? So it really makes you kind of understand the reason that you would be kind of like writing in this in the morning and in the evening. So it gives you a kind of morning routine. It gives you examples of what to kind of write in certain areas. And it also helps with daily affirmation. If you're not that person, it's fine because I'm not really a kind of affirmation person. Now, as you can see, this is gonna to be tomorrow's page on tomorrow's page we've got you put the date in you then have a little quote which here it says do your little bit of good where you are it's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world and it really gets you thinking so then you've got three points for i am grateful for so write three things that you are grateful for the next is three things that would make today great and then you have your daily affirmation it can be anything like i'm strong i'm confident i'm going to be really confident on my project today or my meeting that I have and then at the end of the day you have this little section here which is where you write about how your day has been so three things like highlights of your day and then what did you generally learn today it can be anything you don't have to try your hardest to make sure every page is different honestly at the beginning I was a bit kind of like oh I can't write the same thing as yesterday but honestly if that's how you feel that day then just put it in this is for you only this is not for anyone else and basically you have so much of this Honestly, it's the best thing that I could, I would recommend. I think this has been a complete game changer for me. I really do think that you're going to love this. And yeah, this is my little five minute journal. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you have enjoyed hearing all about my little journal kind of journey. And especially because it's not something I ever thought I would do. So honestly, I'm going to be super, super truthful with you guys about anything to do with journaling because it's honestly something that I didn't think I would ever love. And this is not endorsed in any way at all. Like I'm telling you my honest opinion. So anything you want to learn about it, let me know in the comments and I would love to help you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.